So today, we're gonna play with a brand new lighting controller we have. I've already used it a couple times. It's freaking awesome. It is the ADJ WMX1 from Wolf Mix. Uh, it's what we're gonna standardize all of our kind of portable shows on now. So many cool features, but for now, let's just set up some lights and see what it can do. All right. Um, let's grab some movers. That's the first step. We'll go from there. Ugh. We need more space in this warehouse for sure. Okay. Let's just get these out of the way. All right. So. These are the small movers. We don't want these today. No, we want the big movers. Yeah, what are we thinking? We think two, four, how many, how many movers, right? Well, if we're shooting a video, might as well do four. So, I got two there, let's grab another two. All right, four big ass movers. Literally zero plan, but let's see if we can make something look cool. So I'm thinking, we put the movers here. We can do some up lights because it's white. This wall happens to be magnetic, so maybe I'll just throw some H1s or like magnet lights on here. And then we'll just pixel map everything and make it look cool. Ridiculously heavy for what they are. I mean, they're super bright, but they're just so heavy. You're gonna get really good at holding that camera because it's gonna be. <laughs> It's gonna be a while. More movers. All right, that looks pretty good there. So these guys have locks on them. When you start getting lights this big, they have locks so they don't move around on you because a movement makes a big difference in how the weight settles when you're picking it up. Okay. Let's do that. Let's pick these guys up. I think we're good. I don't think these will hit each other. Nope, we're good. Okay. We got some movers, let's plug them in and then we'll worry about all the battery powered up lights and stuff like that. Luckily I don't really care about cable management today. So we're just gonna throw all the cables on the floor. I think I need to look up how much power these actually draw. 10 amps, yeah, no I cannot put four of these on a single circuit, that would, uh, that would blow it for sure. Okay, so I need two circuits. All right, I need to get some extension cords. Let's get some power strips over here. Where are the big ones? Ah, here we go. We got the beefy ones. Some nice 20 amp power strips over here. Now I need two separate circuits in this warehouse. So, more extension cords. There's one. Pull one from over here. There we go. All right. We got lights and they're moving. Power on. Oh. Do we not have power? Maybe we don't have power. All right, let's go check that. All right, we got some power. Let's turn this guy on. All right, well, they're starting up. I'm gonna run some cable for signal and then I'll throw some magnets on the wall. All right, so we are wiring uh, DMX. It looks a lot like XLR, but it is in fact DMX. So basically what's gonna happen is all of these guys are daisy chains. 
It all comes down to this cable. We are gonna plug this cable into an uplight. The uplight is going to get wireless signal from our control, and I think I'll just put that over there. So there will be no actual cables connecting these two. It's all wireless. Let's get some uplights. All right, we got uplights here. These ones happen to have a DMX out on them. That's why this whole thing works. Uh, others don't necessarily have DMX outs or can't receive wireless frequencies, so um, they wouldn't work for this, but these ones do. So I'm thinking we're just gonna make the white wall like what, like our art piece with the movers at the bottom. So I'll probably just angle these instead of putting them really close to the wall I think I'm just gonna angle them at the wall and we'll kind of see how that goes so maybe I just do three maybe that's the move I spread these out a little bit and then I'll do that do that one there one more and so next step is once I have all my lights out, I'm going to program them all with individual DMX uh, addresses. And that will allow me to individually control each and every light um, so I can make some cool patterns and make it look good. All right, so I got my lights. Last step is let's get some magnet lights on the wall. So these lights, These lights over here, the, we have a whole bunch of them. So these are called H1s, and these are the white ones. We have a bunch of white and black, so the white ones will blend into the wall better. And that's eight. Uh, let's just do 16. Why not? Even numbers, keep it symmetrical. That's 12. Ah, those are not white ones. Nope. All right, gotta find some white ones in here. Oh, they're not gonna be on top, are they? Nope. White, got it. Cool. 16 magnetic lights. All right, so next step is hopefully they're all charged, but if they're on the shelf for us, that means they should be charged, so hopefully we're in luck. So these guys, well, that's not a good sign. That to me seems like it's dead. All right, well, all these ones in this case are dead. I had a feeling considering they weren't plugged in when I opened the case. It can never be easy. Let's see, are these ones charged? It's also not a good sign. Hey, we got power though. Good enough. We'll see. It gives a battery meter about after a minute being on, it'll tell you how much juice is in it. Yeah, these are full. Okay, sweet. So I'm gonna program these once they're on the wall, but if we do 12, let's do like a cool pattern. Let's do like a zigzag. Does that seem even? And then we'll go like higher and then we'll come down. Oh, I know. I'm pretty sure Wolf Mix has a logo that is like a zigzag with a zigzag on top. So maybe we'll just make that logo and try to get sponsored. Yeah, Wolf Mix? Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now that we have a couple lights on, we got lights shooting up, we got beams, stuff like that. We're gonna get the Wolf Mix uh, controller up and ready, put some DMX addresses in it, program the lights, and then we're rocking. Sweet. Oh yeah, that'll look good. All right, here we go. Let's get this up and running. So one of the coolest things, one of the coolest things about this guy, 
is how fast it starts up. So literally, I hope the power cord. It's powered over USB. You plug it into a computer if you want. You can use it standalone. We are gonna use a USB cable and a little brick. That's it. Then we have the FlareCon, and it's gonna provide our wireless signal for everything. So, between these guys here, like literally all of control is like in this box. So, that is pretty nice. Okay. Power. All right. Here we go. I want you to get a close up on this and how fast this thing turns on. All right, power, just USB going in here. Three, two, one. Up, oh, done, it's on, it's ready to go. If I had a scene ready to go, it'd be on. Like it's, it's instant, which is great. Um, if you ever had to restart your system in the middle of a show, you know why boot up time matters. So, all right, so we are going, I think, I might have to do two universes. We might have too many lights to put on a single universe, um, which is not a, a flaw of this guy. This guy has four different universes, so that's not even a problem. But we're, we'll see. We'll see what we got. I'll definitely fill a universe, I think. All right, here we go. Now we program. Let's create a new show, Projects New. This is not a tutorial of how to use this thing, but it's just showing off what it can do. So we're gonna add some lights in here. Let's see here. I got these guys that I've already programmed. I got four of them. Boom, put them in group A, done. I then have, uh, let's add some more lights. Let's do these ones on the ground. I got three of those. All right, so we're gonna add that, put them in group C, all right, just to spread some stuff out. And then finally, I'm gonna add, how many lights do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of those, and boom, I'm done. Now all my lights have addresses, they're in the system. All I gotta do now is just put them on the lights itself. And I'm ready to go. I can already pull some colors and do that. So let me go uh, type some numbers into the lights there and we'll have a show. Okay, and then uh, let's test the movers and then we'll try to map all those and then we'll be good to go. So one feature I really like about this is when you're testing stuff out, trying to troubleshoot, you can just kind of select the fixture and it will actually highlight it over there. Um, and you can just turn it on, turn it off, and you can just see which one you're selecting. So that's a really nice touch. So it looks good there. Yep, and that's what I figured. So my last one is 73, and I think I just typed the address wrong. There we go. Simple address. So now that we have the movers all working, I should be able to go here and just hit a movement. Actually, let's just hit a position. Perfect. That's really cool. So it kept programming of these lights from other shows because it knew the light was, it knew I had four of them, so it just added them in. So good, those are working correctly. Let's hit a color. Let's try like an amber, sweet, pink. Just get a white, awesome. Working well. And then let's make sure the uplights on the ground are working. So let's get like a pink, sweet, an amber. All right, last step now is to program all those magnet lights up there. All right, 121, 129, 16. 18, how many did I put up here? All right, so the lights are set up. We got DMX address programmed. Now it's time to set up a speaker, hit the house lights, and let's see what this thing can do. Just trying to Bluetooth to the speaker here. There we go. Let's see, connected. All right, so now we're gonna have to like edit out all the music from this, because uh, it's all gonna be copyrighted. Alright, so 
So that is the ADJ, what is this, WMX1. It's probably my favorite controller right now. Uh, we take it everywhere. So uh, if you want to learn more about it, hit us up. Uh, we love teaching about lighting or video or audio or anything you guys want to know about. So uh, yeah, that was fun. Time to clean up.